What's up, fellow junkies, and welcome back. I'm your host, Horror Junkies 509. I'm the one and only Kyle. So, you guys, I've been kind of debating on maybe a new video series to start doing, because, you know, I'm trying to, you know, keep it fresh, keep it new, doing what I can. So, what I decided is I've been getting a lot of comments about them. So, I think I'm going to do my action figure collection videos. So, maybe I'll just do, like, a series here and there. So, this will be my first episode. So, then... What the... God! Really? What's this all about? Gory details? Okay. I, I guess we can do that. I wasn't set up for that, but I, I mean, I got your chair here, I guess, so we'll go with that. Alright guys, so, change of plans. Uh, how about an episode of the Gory Details? We haven't done one in a little while. Jeff's here, he's out of the box. I guess we'll go forth. You guys know the story. We're going to spin the randomizer, we're going to pick a movie, and then we're going to come right back to you with the Gory Details, because that way maybe you don't have to watch as crappy a movie as we do, because some of these ones are gems of crap. True. But some of them are gems of amazingness. But that's what you get. So, Jeff, I do declare that you, this is your spin this time. Okay. So, if you want to go ahead and spin this wheel this time. See if we get anything good. I think I deleted everything. I think I had to do it twice before we did this video. The Gallows. Man, another found footage film. We're going through our ringers with found footage. Right. It's not really a bad thing. You bought me this movie, actually. Oh, yeah, huh? That's the Charlie one, right? The... Yes, I believe so. So if you guys haven't seen this one, I know a lot of you guys aren't fans of found footage out there, but this one, not that bad. But maybe it's been a while, so we'll, we'll watch it, come back with you, and we'll, guys, we'll figure this out. What do you guys think as far as the background for this, for the gory details? Is this better than TV? Let us know in the comments. I mean... I know the lighting's in here is definitely a lot better. We actually oh, yeah. have skin tone oh. instead of, like, orange. <laughs> yeah, we're not, like, jaundiced or yeah. anything. You, don't think you guys probably think we're like sickly. That's probably why we have 80 subscribers. You guys feel bad for us. Right. All right, guys, so we will be back with the gory details. That's all I got. Right? All right. Shazam. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, thank you. Guys, welcome back, fellow horror junkies. Uh, just finished 2015's The Gallows. Now, this probably isn't going to be for everybody. Just to put that out there for you now. But the curtain has fell because this movie is kind of dedicated around the play. Yeah, kind of, sort of. All right, guys. So basically, the info I got from this, like I said, Gallows 2015. It was directed by Travis Clough and Chris Laughlin. Uh, they've done a few other movies, nothing I really recognize, so that, that, that's, that's, it is what it is, right? Yeah. Alright, to go ahead and get into the plot of this movie, not really much going on. Basically, your main character, Reese, he's, doing, he's in a play. He's kind of like the jock that went to drama, so he's, you know, he's taking a lot of crap from his friends and basically probably his whole clique, family, whatever is going on. And, well, so he's still going through with it, but... Throughout the movie, he, throughout the beginning of it, he's kind of um, convinced to go and destroy the set so they can uh, maybe can get the show canceled. So him, uh, his good friend, I don't remember his name, and then, you remember the good friend? No. Name? no. Okay. And then his girlfriend uh, also, and then they meet up with the, the other star of the show. Her name was... Um, Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer, thank you. So I remember recent Pfeiffer, at least. So those are the two main people. So, that, there's four kids that end up in the school, and basically they go to destroy the stage. All of a sudden they start noticing some paranormal activities going on, and to kind of get into that, basically, they're doing a play that hasn't been done in, like, ten years or more. Yeah, like 12, 13 years. Yeah, and it's called The Gallows, and it's about this movie where someone gets hanged, and in 1993, this kid, Charlie, got hung, and accidentally was killed. So, basically, if so facto, the, the, this whole uh, play area is cursed by Charlie. So, but without getting too far into this, you guys, I, there's no, if I tell you everything, there's no point if you going to watch it. But, so that's the basic gist of this movie. These kids trying to destroy this play. Here, but here's why the ghost came. So, a little, kind of two different segments of the plot there. But, to get into the body count, you guys, there was five deaths, nothing. 
to really talk about there. They're all pretty much hung. Yeah, they're all... Hmm. Like, that brings me into one of my... One of the things I really dislike about this movie, there is literally no gore to this movie. I feel like it could have it could have been used. I mean, there was a little bit of blood on the the blonde haired chick's fa uh, neck because she you know she she kept getting her neck choked and she the the, the ghost was after her for some reason. Yeah. He, like he she had he had a thing for her or something like that. Something. So body count, not much else to say. You got anything, Jeff? No, I mean it's there's not a whole lot of variety to the kills. I mean the aspect of the movie and the ghost part of it is kind of cool. He wears a cool mask. Like, he's a cool kind of killer, but mm -hmm. there's really no variety. Like, his character was the hangman, so the whole new killing people by hanging obviously makes sense. Yeah. So he's not really going to have that much variety, but still, it would have been nice to see something. Yeah. All right, guys, so to get into the rest of this, the killer, what do you think of the killer? The hangman, Charlie, however you want to go about him. I think he was cool. I... Like I know he's not really physical, physically there, but he's still a killer. Yeah, and I like the just kind of the feel of that, you know, the old hangman Ambience. kind of thing. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I, I dig that. I think he uses a really unconventional weapon, mm -hmm. obviously, because like sometimes it's like it's a longer piece of rope, or sometimes it's just one that he would you know hold like that, kind of put it around their neck and like mm -hmm. pull it. So I think that aspect of it's kind of cool. I mean, yeah, it's, there's not a whole lot of variety involved. No. But I definitely thought it was kind of neat. And mm -hmm. the other aspect I like is just, you know, the ghost factor. Yeah. It's like everywhere. Yeah, I mean, so he, he kind of is like our old school slasher be things because he kind of teleports, but he has a reason to be able to teleport because he is a ghost. Yeah. I mean, like, I thought the overall look of him was good. I mean, really, his clothing was just kind of like the old drapery kind of clothes from way back in the day, but he had a really great hangman mask yeah. that he was wearing. And so that was, I thought that was very cool uh, look for him. I mean, I don't want I want, I don't want to say the hangman look's been beat to death because I don't really think it has, so I think we're good there. No. But that's kind of our two cents on the killer. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this yet. There's absolutely no familiar faces in this movie that I can tell. And if I'm wrong and you guys have seen this and you're just screaming at me, leave it down in the comments. Enlighten me. I'm, I'm down. Definitely. All right. So, uh, man, in a nutshell, that's kind of it about this movie. Yeah, that's pretty much the whole thing. Like, nah, I mean, Jeff, you want to go ahead and go into the your rating of this movie? I mean, don't get us wrong when we say this. This movie is definitely worth one watch, at least. I'm not going to say you're in love with this movie, but at least watch it once. Yeah. Your own opinion is always going to be the best. We can give you our opinion. That's basically it. So go right into your star rating there, my friend. Um, I'm going to give this one an 8, actually, because I really liked it. Okay. I like the whole atmosphere of the of the movie, of them, like, breaking into the school and all that stuff, because, I mean, like, I always thought it would be kind of interesting to go into my school or my old church at night mm -hmm. and just walk around, because things are always so much more different when it's at night and when there's no people there, and it's always definitely creepy, so I dug that aspect of it. I really liked the killer. I thought it was an inf interesting take. I like that he uses a really unconventional weapon. I mean, mm -hmm. downsides are that there's not a lot of variety of kills. Yeah. And it... It's kind of like Indiana Jones and his whip. Yeah. I mean, it's really just like there's only so much things you can do with it. Yeah, it's a very it's a very limited, you know, set. But, um... Uh, uh, the only other thing is that it... I mean, at first it is kind of a slow burn. Definitely. You gotta... It takes a while for him to actually, like, show up. You gotta be in it for the long haul if you're gonna watch this movie. Don't... You can't give up on it. But I definitely think it's worth a watch. I liked it a lot. Mm -hmm. this, this was my first time watching it. I actually hadn't watched it until now, and I, I really liked it. Yeah, you guys see, that's one thing about me and Jeff. Me and him are so different. I mean, he looks at a movie differently than I ever will. So, I mean, we're, two, we're definitely two different sides of the spectrum on here. So with me, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and give this... I'm going to go ahead and give it a six. I mean, this is my second time watching this movie. I've enjoyed it each time for what it is. It is a found footage film. Not everything's going to be perfect on it. But, you know, let it be what it is. Like, I enjoy the whole, like, running through a school at night. I mean, kind of just being little 
hooligans. I mean, I've been, I've been in a school at night because my parents were teachers. I've been in a school when it closed down. Certain parts of it is creepy, so I know that I know the feeling. Like these kids, I I've been there. Like I've been in a theater when it wasn't when I wasn't supposed to be in there. Sorry, mom and dad, but like I know the feeling of it. The killer was great. The kills were not anything special. I mean, but I mean, it's to be expected. I mean, he wasn't like Charlie who fell off, got hung, and stabbed at the same time, so he didn't have a knife or something like that. He was hung. So he's going to return and give everyone what he got. His, his shitty end of the stick. Yeah. So I'm going to give it a six because I definitely believe it's worth a watch. I believe there is going to be a small group of people out that like this movie. Because it's definitely... It's a more interesting found footage film. It's not the worst and it's definitely it's not the best. There's going to be many worse after this movie. But like I said, I mean, the characters were fun. Just... I like good old high school movies. Like, it makes me feel like I'm back in high school again. Like, you see these characters doing things that you're like, fuck, I did that. Yeah, or you remember all the clicks. Like, they get it down to a T. Like, they got the little theater kids down to on to a point. I was oh, never, yeah. <laughs> I never hung out with them kids, but I mean, I, I guess I didn't really know a lot of them, but I mean, being around them, I mean, I kind of hung out with everybody. So I knew, I knew the theater kids, I knew the jocks, I knew the gothic kids, I knew the everybody. I mean, I was, I, me and, I think me and Jeff are click jumpers. For the most part. Yeah, for the most part. But, I mean, like, so we, I, they kind of had it th that type of, I don't want to say it's like there's certain type, it's just, they got it down, like how the how the kids are. They, they definitely have their own thing, and that's great. So, that's going to kind of do it for us, you guys. That's our ratings, that's our thoughts, that's our picking it to the bone. We're vultures on this movie a little bit. But, let us know what you guys think about this movie. And you guys, keep in mind, if you guys have something you're just dying for us to pick apart on the gory details, leave it down in the description, and who knows, maybe it'll be our next episode. We will skip the randomizer and go right to your movie if you guys have something particular yeah. that you want. We're still doing that. Yeah. So, how do you feel about that? Uh, I think that's good. Alright, I guess it's a wrap. Fine, Jeff. I guess I'll stop it. Dick.